What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a death run that's pretty fun and as an added bonus, gives you a lot of XP. Alright, so the death run we're going to be doing today is called the Chrome Punk 150 level death run. It's relatively easy, quick to do, and like I said before, it gives you quite a bit of XP. The code for this death run can be seen right here on the screen or down in the description below. Once you load in, the first thing you're going to notice are these quest boards here. You have one, two, three, and four. The first one is the bonus levels, one, two, and three. Now you cannot activate them just yet. You have to complete the entire death run first. But once you do, make sure to do them because every time you complete the bonus levels, you get XP from it. The next one is just finishing the death run three times in total. Like I said before, it's a relatively easy and quick death run, so that shouldn't be a problem. Then we have the Easter eggs. If you watch the entire video, I'll show you guys where the Easter eggs are. They're also labeled like a question mark. I'll You'll see when we get there. And then once you complete boards one, two, and three, you'll complete this one that is complete all quests. And that one will give you the absolute most XP from this map. You may have also noticed that there's a small XP and a big XP that you can purchase right here. In order to get the token, it's just right here on the podium. Literally stand in front of it, interact, pick up. But I will note that in my testing of this map, which we'll, we'll do again right here, every time I've tried to do just a small XP, it does not work. So if you're going to do this, make sure you get the 100. But like I said, we'll try it right here. And... Nothing. Okay. So I guess I'll just go ahead and get the 100, show you guys how much XP it actually gives. You can also interact with the stand here to support the creator. I would say to use code CoreyNHouse27, but uh, I don't have a creator code yet. Aww. But if you guys want to help me out, you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, and that will get me one step closer to getting a creator code. 12 seconds later. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. All right, now we can go over here, get the big XP. And there you go, 85,000 XP right off the bat. All we had to do was stand here and collect 100 tokens easy now before you waste your time collecting a hundred more tokens i did try before to collect the hundred and then go back do it again for some reason it did not work so i don't know if you have to like interact with this one and then interact with this side in order to get it to work or maybe you can only do it once per uh per game i don't know but if you do try it out and it does work on both sides, let me know in the comments below. All right, so for the Deathman, like I said, it's pretty simple, straightforward, especially in the beginning. It's gonna be broken up into like three different sections. The first one is the green section, it's the easiest. It's pretty much just running forward. You can sprint to help clear those single block jumps. You can also mantle, which also comes in handy. Oopsie, I thought I was gonna need to mantle there. For these spike traps, uh, all you need to do is really just stay to the side. If you're on the very edge, they won't activate, but if you need them to activate, like we will up there, kind of just like start in the middle and run towards the edge. Just like that. Go up and over here. As you can see, the first secret is right behind us and it is labeled. So we're just going to go back here. Secret and... 2000 XP. Go ahead and just keep going here. Slide down. And like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult. And easy XP. Got uh, some door jumps here. Go to this side. Jump on the little springs. And I think that's it for the first section. Yep, 
because now we're in the orange section. Oop, got a mantle up there. Get a little speed boost. You just jump over these as long as you... Well, how should I explain this? If you jump onto the spike trap, it won't register or won't activate until you actually physically touch it, at least for the floor ones. For the wall ones and the ceiling is completely different. So as you can see, they don't activate until, until I land on it. And these just don't activate for some reason. Uh, I think it's because these little pedestals are here. I don't know. You can just run by it. And we are coming up on the second Easter egg now. Let's come back here. Boom. And another 2,000. Just hop over that. A little two step. Now, both of these, the left and the middle, are just dead ends, so make sure to go for the right one. Got a little more parkour jumping. one can be a little tricky there we go on the spring now for these if you're new to death runs and you have difficulty with the spike traps there's really two ways that you can do this i like to do the two-step where i just make sure my feet barely touch the edge of the of the floor spike trap there. And then for the floor one, you actually have to go past the rim. So you wanna barely touch here and then cross over on the on the floor one. Wait for the reset. See a little two-step. Two-step again. You can do the same thing here. It's kind of like where the, the floor divides there. That's where you just wanna barely cross over. And just turn back. Do it here too. Jump up and over that. If you hit the pad, you'll get launched into the spike trap. And we don't want that. Get through these windows. To this tube. And we are now in the final section of the death run. Oh, I should also point out that we earn XP for each level. But when you do it a second or a third time, some of the tokens do not respawn in this red section here. So unfortunately, you're not going to get XP for those. But the last token is the most important one because that's the one that actually triggers that you finish the death run. over jump up to bait these little side swipe for this one you want to get right on the edge and it's just like the other floor trap where you barely walk over and then triggers trigger this and then we can just run up that now this easter egg is not labeled so as soon as you go down this ramp here just turn around and there's your last easter egg which also gives you more xp apparently And just jump over on the spring. Single block jumps. Little moving platform. We can wait for these. Or we can jump down and just bait our way over. Instead of two stepping, I'm doing a little side swipe. I think they're a little faster. Did you keep the momentum? ramp. Oh, I'm just going to jump there. Just going to climb up. Climb up. Climb up. We're going to bait this. Jump the bait. 
bait this, jump to bait, right on the edge, we're going to trigger it, there we go, and then we'll just two-step our way to the end here. one and there we go that's the end of the death run but we won't stop there we'll go to the bonus level and they're pretty short pretty easy nothing too complicated especially the first two let's climb up there we go first one done look at that almost 5,000 xp and that's just one level go over to level two. Oh, almost fell there that's okay, we recovered. Walk on the beam. This part can be a little tricky. There we go. And 5,700. Now this one can be a bit hard, but if you just practice this two-step, you'll be okay. And then for this one, you just want All right. I thought I had enough clearance there, but I guess not. Uh, basically, what you want to do is just go up high enough on the ramp so that your head kind of triggers it, and then come back down, just like that. And we can just sprint up this one. And we'll bait, jump. Bait, jump. And that's the end of the third one. That one almost gave us 8,000 XP. I'll take that. All right, so quest board one is done. We need to do the death run two more times. I won't have you guys sit and watch that. I'll go ahead and skip to the end. And we found all the Easter eggs. So the only thing we need to do, which is do it two more times, get this one done here, and then we get the most XP from this map. So sit tight, and I'm going to do this just two more times. Also, when you're going back for the second and third time, there's no need to go back and get the Easter eggs. They're, they haven't respawned. So you can just keep going one minute 37 seconds later one other way of baiting all these traps like getting all four to activate at once is doing a little quick turn but it's kind of tricky and i think it's easier to do on keyboard and mouse just because you can do the quick mouse movement whereas controller you have to it, every time you turn around at least in my personal experience uh it would like kind of slow down instead of keeping the momentum but what you do is basically the same thing and what you really want to aim for is getting like right on the edge see how I didn't trigger that time you want to make sure that you your one foot at least is on the outside of the little little lip here that way it triggers all four because if it's not it's only going to trigger the three it's not going to trigger the floor one and so you cross over you have to be pretty quick and get all four in one swoop. Just like that. Oh, I forgot to see how much it was. Anyway, I'll I'll freeze for it was like seventy three thousand, I think, after I completed all three all three goes of the death run but yeah easy xp super quick super simple highly recommend it and unlike a lot of other death runs where if you quit and then re-enter all your i guess quests would be stored or saved so you can pick up where you left off this one if you leave and then come back all your quests reset so you can do all of them over again and earn xp again and i think i got two two levels out of this just this one video and that's just doing all the all four quest boards the bonus levels which i mean if we really wanted to we can go back into into level one and just do that like over and over again we'll just do it this one time though we're still getting xp so if this video was helpful or if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe, because I'm going to do a lot more of these death runs, either if it's just for fun or if you get a lot of XP from it. So, if you want to be notified for those, subscribe with notifications turned on. 
And until next time, hope you guys have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon. Stay happy, healthy, beautiful, and I will see you guys in the next one.